Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Draven if you're new. Today I would like to tell you a story about a beautiful couple. When Logan met Cheyenne, his heart stopped. It was love at first sight and the purest form for them both. Their passion for each other was matched with their passion for art and together they wanted to paint the world. It wasn't long before they were married and had created a cute little masterpiece by the name of Zoe. This precious little girl loved to play with her castle and dream of being a princess. And as she got older, she joined the scouts and earned all the badges. She was a sweet little girl along with being a brilliant, unstoppable force. When Zoe was a preteen, she met a cutie named Sisko. Sisko and his dog Zena once lived in Mount Kamarabi but had been in foster care from a young age and had ran away. Sisko and Zena found their way on a ship hiding from the police, but the ship ended up crashing into the island of Solani. They hid away from everyone for a while, but then Sisko realized that he was called to this ocean, and this ocean was his home. At least it was until he found out the news. You see, as Sisko and Zoe got older, their relationship became much more than what Zoe's parents would have wanted. They were not only in love, but they were also lovers. She had a secret and was terrified to tell anyone, but she knew she had to. Neither Zoe or Sisko are ready for a child, but when she told Sisko, he freaked out of course, but then he used his playful spirit to lighten the mood. It would be hard, but together they knew they would come to terms with this unwanted pregnancy, and all would be okay. Logan and Cheyenne, although upset, vowed to give all the support they could. They even decided to ask Sisko to move in, so they both could get a good education without worrying about his bills and daycare, and of course the rules is they sleep in separate rooms. But this journey is not about Logan, Cheyenne, Sweet Zena, uh, sorry wait, Sweetie or Zena, or even Sisko and Zoe. This story is about the little creation inside Zoe. Welcome to The Sims 4 Generations, from conception to death. I hope you enjoy the journey. And here we are. Oh, he has to be. <laughs> he should probably be after he takes the dog out. But here we are in the house. Um, I'm pretty sure this one was in the save file. This is Plumbella's save file. I think this was one that was in her safe hall. I don't think I put this here. I didn't build it for sure. That's for damn sure. Um, this stuff right here on the edges is actually um, from, I think I told y'all this in another video, but it's the SYB mod for like little boxes and stuff. The decoration boxes, but yeah. Cute house, cute house. This is where uh, Zoe's mom and dad live. Well, they live too for right now, but they will be moving. She is in labor, but I do have the pregnancy mod, which by the way, I have a ton of mods that we're going to be using to make this work so that we can go generation to generation. And, you know, I have it on long life so that we can really explore each generation like we would if we were playing Sims 3 Generations. So, oh, she's yeah. fucking miserable. <laughs> um, he's going to pee us up. I'm going to help him out a little bit. He's not even my concern. I'm not, like, rushing to take her. Uh, and mainly that is because it takes freaking forever once we get to the hospital. So, well, sometimes. Not always. Sometimes it, it's not so long, but... Yeah. Oh, he was going to the other bathroom. Okay, never mind, my dude. You know... Okay, well, whatever you need to do, whatever you need to do. You can sit down and finish eating your foodies because it's going to be a while. Matter of fact, you can go to the bathroom. Go ahead and get her to go pee. And, yeah. So, when we get there, I do have the pregnancy mod, or the, I don't, I don't remember what it's called. I have all the links. I haven't figured out where I'm going to put them, but I'll let you know in the description where they're going to be at. I was going to make um, my own website and, like, put them there, but 
that's not gonna work out because I got like I was all excited. I thought I found a free one, and then it turns out it's like limited time, and so it's only gonna be up for like three more days. So I have to do it somewhere else, and I don't know where yet. So we'll figure that out. But there's a shit ton of links. I will get them to you. I just don't know where yet. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get her to head to the hospital so we can get this baby born because our baby is our main character. I'm so excited. Um, it's not here. I don't think so. I think it's just me. Have baby at the hospital. Join. And Cisco will be coming with us. So we'll see you there. Oh, and her water has broke. And everybody's gonna freeze to death. They stand out here for too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them to come on inside. Uh, I don't think we really have to check in so much anymore. We can just kind of go. And as you can see, I've kind of redone these rooms. This is not where she has the baby, obviously. She does have the babies in here. But because it takes so much time, and sometimes, you know, she'll have to pee and she has to take a shower, she'll need something to eat. They'll sleep here and however long she's in labor. So I'm going to go ahead and have her. Can she make that bed first? Somebody else should make that bed, but since they're probably not. Okay. Oh, look, there's bee on the floor. She's, she might need to go ahead and have somebody check her dilation. So we're going to go ahead and see if um, we'll go with her. All right. Let me follow her out. Okay. He's mopping the floor. What a good hubby. Or fiance. They're not married yet. <clears throat> Alright, she's only one centimeter. Which is unfortunate. She is tired though, so I'm gonna go ahead and have her sleep. Yeah. Is he tired? No, he's hungry. He can go ahead and grab something to eat though. Um let see. Do, 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 do. More choices. Have a quick meal. How about just have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? It'll be fine. Let her sleep. Y'all shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to let her get some rest. And uh, it won't progress that quick. If she's only one centimeter still, it'll be a while. So I'm going to go ahead and let her get some sleep. She's awake. I'm pretty sure she's probably still like very low as far as centimeters go of dilation. So one thing I like to do when I do this is I'll just have her go through all three of these, right? And then I'll just go back and do it again. Just because it helps speed the process up a little bit. But... Yeah, we're gonna do it that way. <laughs> this can take a while, and it, you know, it can be kind of boring to record, but it's really cool whenever it actually happens. Like, I like the animations and like how he doesn't run from her <laughs> whenever she's giving birth. Instead, he's there supporting her. I love it. It's really sweet. So, yeah. All right. So when she finishes that one, I'm going to start her right back over here doing this one again. And then we'll come back to this one again. And then I'm going to have her walk. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what he's up to. What is he doing? Oh, he's just reading a book. It's probably, you know, like, uh, you know, a pregnancy book of some sort. So he can, like, you know, get a little up to date on what he should know <laughs> as a new daddy. Who knows? Let's see. Girl, you good? I know, look, I I can't imagine. I would never want to have to go through labor again. Ever, ever. I'm done with all of that. I'm done. You know what he could do? Oh, he's sleeping. Babe, no, you have a place to sleep right here. Come sleep here. Don't sleep there. This is where you sleep. There you go. Okay. Alright. Yeah. I made sure that they, he had somewhere, like the fathers or the second moms or whoever's, had a place to sleep too because, like, they're there for a while, you know. Just like if you were in the hospital for real, you know, that's how it goes. 
Um, she's hungry. So we'll do that before we uh, take her for a walk. We'll have a quick meal. I'm going to give her a ham and cheese sandwich. She'll need all that sugar from peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> and he's over here sleeping, sleeping. It's like shit. I better catch some Z's now. <laughs> now, here's a little lowdown on what's going on with these guys, okay? Her mom and dad have allowed them to, like, allowed him to move in. They just graduated, like, just like yesterday. They graduated high school. They've applied for college, um, working on getting into college. They've been approved for a few, uh, whatchamacallit, oh. scholarships. Oh, and mom and dad wants them to stay oh. in the house. Yeah. While they go to college, so that they can, you know, have free daycare and like families there taking care of the baby, all this kind of good stuff. And, you know, they don't have to worry about bills and things. But the thing is, is they have to sleep in separate rooms. They're under mom and dad's roof. They have to follow a certain set of rules. And, like, you know, they can barely even be around each other without somebody having something to say. So they're not really feeling it. They're really considering getting their own place. Um, mom and dad are willing, if that's what they want, mom and dad are willing to help them out with that somewhat. But they got to match it. And mom and dad knows that they have no money, so how are they going to match it? But she has good credit, so she is considering getting a loan and then having mom and dad match the loan amount. And we'll see how that goes. So, I don't know. We're not there yet, though. I do want to get them in college first and relaxed and, like, into that and get the baby home. And then we'll Aww, we'll go from there to see what's, what's up. It's time. Please, please be closer to 10. <laughs> I'm sure she's at least closer, but I don't think she's ready yet. Oh, Christmas Eve was successful. Oh. Oh shit! Oh. Oh, She's at nine man. centimeters, so she is definitely almost there. Oh, to be Damn right, girl. All right, come get on this ball again. Here, get on this one too. <laughs> Let's work it out. It's almost time. I'm ready for it to be time. Get this baby here. Are we having a boy? Or are we having a girl? What are we having? And it's great because, like, look, it's Christmas time. And, like, the wallpaper is matching the season. <laughs> I didn't really intend to do that. I just like this wallpaper. I thought it would be nice and pretty for, like, a labor room. But, yeah, it's Christmas. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's Christmas time. All right, girl. When you get done with that, we're going to go ahead and ask to check for dilation again. You're standing right there, so we'll do that. What does he say? It's almost time. Oh, you know what? She still doesn't have epidural. Oof. It's almost time from active labor. The baby is ready to come out. Zoe is trying her hardest to focus on rhythmic breathing, but the pain is becoming more and more unbearable, and Zoe is starting to doubt whether she can do this. All right. You know what she needs? Once they check her, like, in, yeah, see, it's Christmas. In real life, let me just say this, in real life, she's too far along to get an epidural. But she might be able to get one in the game. Who knows? We'll see. What's this say? Dilation. You're fully dilated. Oh, wait. Oh, it's time, dude. Wake up. Wake up. I think she's going. She is. She's going. Get in here. Run here. Come on. Where are you going, girl? Oh, are we going over here? Oh, shit. Make up your mind. Okay, run here. Run here. Come on, come on. I love this animation. He's just like, oh, he's so supportive. Oh, look. 
Look at him. Yeah. Oh. You're so sweet. She looks like she's yelling at her. She's like, ah. Oh. oh no. Ah, oh, please get it out. Get the baby out of me. Please, I don't want to do this. It's your fault. You did this to me. I hate you. <laughs> you never touch me again. Oh. Wait, I'm froze. No. Oh, the baby. The baby. Zoe is just giving birth to a baby girl. This baby needs a name. Oh, we have a name. Okay. And the baby's name is Cosima. And... She's going to have her dad's last name, which is Ramirez. Okay. I just want to get a picture of this. Come on, come on. Aww. This is the sweetest. Connect to a Yipsy. Oh, let's track. Oh, I love it. I love it. And he's like so happy. He's like, we well, yeah. Oh, sorry about that noise. I swear I turned my phone down. Okay. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's poop. time. They can go home now. Oh. Uh, look, he's still over here. Like, I can barely stand up. I'm just going to hold on to the bed like she's still here. I'll just pretend. But I'm freaking the fuck out right now. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna send them home because the baby seems to be crying and he's kind of stuck Okay, yeah, pre-parents will panic. No shit, my dude All right And we have a baby congratulations <laughs> Now we get to have Cosima. Cosima is our main character. She is who we will watch grow from this very very brand new baby newborn all the way until the day that she passes away from old age hopefully from old age god knows please do not die from anything else between now and then <laughs> it will completely ruin the whole thing <laughs> and we are back ah girl get out this outfit first of all <laughs> I hate that they stay in this thing. Then see command center, dresser. Um. Do, do, do. I, look, why am I having problems? Change outfit. There we go. And it's cold outside, so there. Just so you don't freeze to death. Boom. You too, sir. Well, I guess y'all can just run in the house. Run in the house. Run here. You too, run here. Okay, then let's come up here and see our brand new little baby. Make sure she went into the correct spot. She did. And there she is. Little Cosima. She looks just like her mommy did when her mommy was a baby. Let me see her. Oh, a little Cosima. Hang on, I need to put the walls up. So I can get a good picture. <laughs> the first thing that we need to do, I need mom to come over here. Can you please? Okay, and now can you come a little bit closer? Oh gosh, okay, can you come over here? And now can you come here? Okay, cool. See, I want her to take pictures so that she can have pictures to put on her wall. And we're just going to say take a photo because otherwise it won't work out so well. <clears throat> All right. And we get a little picture of the baby. Hello, Cosima. How are you, little darling, precious baby girl? That's going to be too bright. Okay. We'll take a few like that, and then we'll take a couple like that. But I think that's too bright. Yeah. Okay. 
That is your baby girl. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get her to breastfeed and cuddle. You, sir, I need you to go and check this mail. Is there any mail? Get mail. Oh, look, he got his letter. Did she get her letter? Oh, she does not have her letter. He has his letter, though. Let's see what this one says. Alright, so I'm sure he got in, but now I'm wondering why she didn't get hers yet. Oh, baby's tired. Alright, so we always look at the distinguished degrees, because that's where the money's at. That's where we're going. I don't really know what he wants to do. I know that he's like very into like nature um i don't know if one of these would be like something you having to do i need to find something to wear because he's going to god i can't even talk i can't even get the words out of my mouth <laughs> he is a child of the ocean no i'm sorry a child of the island and so i kind of want to do something having to do with like conservation or something like that um yeah somewhere along that line because that is something that is important to him but i don't know like i don't know where it would be so we're not going to worry about that right now but he has been accepted he can get distinguished degrees awesome i don't know if he's happy hey. about that yeah. we're too neat. all right christina's <laughs> very hungry oh shit yeah. I thought she was feeding the baby. Did she, did she not feed the baby? Feed, breastfeed. Is it broken? Can she not get the baby? She cannot get to the baby. Why? Why? Why is this happening? Okay. Let me see. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Maybe I need the baby to be a little closer. See if that works. Maybe. Okay. Can you feed the baby now? Zimzay. All right. This is no good. What is happening? Maybe I need to turn the crib around. So let's try that. All right. I think I have it fixed. It's not exactly how I wanted it. It's like this big old gap back here, but. This room, and I had to move the dog's bed out here, but it is what it is. I think she can get to the baby now. So the baby won't get taken away. Can you go, please? The baby needs a diaper change, too. Yes. All right. So we should be good now. But, yeah. I can't even keep it. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta wait till the baby's back down where I click on the baby. <laughs> I'm not like a super fan of this mod too. Like the, for the cribs. Like I'm but I don't usually play with babies for more than like ten minutes, so <laughs> like I'm going to just for now because it's a lot easier for her to go to school if the baby's a baby. But here, change that dirty diaper and then cuddle. There you go. You do you, girl. You do you. So him, I would like to go ahead and get him enrolled. Oh, these computers don't work because those are for college. I meant for high school. Oh, here. Ah, education bundle. Yeah. They're for homeschool. But anyway, let's go university. Let me take a look. I want to see what with the distinguished degrees, which one works best for him. So hang on one second. Yeah, biology, he can get, if he can get a distinguished degree in biology, enroll in the university, um, then he'll be able to do the conservationist career. And that works out. So that, I think that's what we're gonna do for him. For her, I wanna do psychology so that she can um, do education because that's where she's heading. <laughs> Yeah, hey, come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on. This picture right here was taken from him diving. Um, yeah. 
but he hasn't gone back and he wants to but he's kind of been busy here and it's winter and blah 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 so yeah <laughs> all right come on my dude let's get enrolled <laughs> Zena's like, man, where we came from, there was not computers. We lived on an island with no electricity. What the fuck? Okay, what's going on here? Let's see. Where is it? It's not showing. Okay, let's look at Foxbury for a minute. Um, Somebody's TV in my house is too loud. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, so biology, distinguished degree. We're gonna go ahead and take three classes. And then what do we want? Let's see. So you want yoga? No. Digging deep on our, no. Fishing plugs and, yeah, why not? He's into the island stuff, right? And I do have the mod that makes it shorter. Um, I could've went with four, but I, I don't know if I'm living, if they're on long lifespan, I figured four would just be too short. So we went ahead and went with eight. So yeah. He can get his degree. Good for him. All right, so I'm getting him enrolled. And he's going to be at home. So there's no additional charges there. And we're going to pay with student loans. Yes. Okay, so he does have some student loans. These classes, oh yeah, and I got the mod that increases the um, cost. I did not get the one that increases the... Um, the scholarships because like the whole point of it is a struggle. I, I think it's counterintuitive. I think that's the right word. <laughs> so yeah, so the classes cost more, the scholarships are a lot less. So total cost $5,040 um, plus interest. And we'll take care of that once they graduate. So clicking okay, he will be starting that soon. Young lady. You need to call and check on your application, see if you got in or not. Um, apply. She has not applied. I swear I thought she applied. Well, no wonder. And dude, honey, bunny. Here, can you take care of your dog? Please, calm down, Zena. <laughs> Poor baby. She just tripping over there. <laughs> Damn. Woman, what are you doing? Here, put that in your pocket. Don't sit on it, though. It'll hurt. Oh, and they got this shine because they're both um, artists. Very, very successful artists. You would think there'd be more artwork in the house. There is some. Not a lot. But uh, they used to use this wall to sell all their paintings. Oh, that's why it's completely empty. So, yeah. Girl, what is your problem? Giving it back to you. Stop putting it down. Go through it and go wash it or something. All right. So that is where we are. I need her to get accepted. I hope she can get accepted tomorrow so she can get started. May as well go ahead and get him started on some stuff. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. So he needs to give a presentation. He's got a final exam, final exam, final exam. So no uh, term papers. That's awesome. I like that. But he does need to work on his presentation. Does he have any room anywhere besides the bathroom? Because all I'm seeing is the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom. This bathroom is so huge. Like, there's so much space in that bathroom. All right. Anywhere. 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 Okay. Bathroom it is. Whatever works. Okay, right? Okay, so capture information. You, darling. I don't know what to do with you right now. Here, let me put these away. Okay. Can we go clean up? Can we just, like, throw stuff away? Clean up somewhere? Throw everything away? Um, I don't know if these are dirty or not. I don't know. Just clean up. Clean up, clean up, clean up. And then I need you to take the dogs for a walk. That one's sleeping. You can take this one for a walk, though. Yeah, what are you do? What is wrong with my dog? Y'all see this? <laughs> Zena, honey. Okay, you good now? <laughs> oh, it looks like Zena's going to sleep too, so. Oh well. 
Guess we're not taking the dogs for a walk right now. Girl, stop it. You are grown. Pick that shit up and throw it away. And then come back and open some presents. <laughs> and you, ma'am, can you come make a grand meal? Because it is a holiday. So let's get that going. Um, let's go some Wellington. Yeah, that sounds great. And as you can see, part of their whole thing is they like to take pictures. They like photography a lot. So we have lots of pictures. This is one of my favorites. Okay, let me kind of get in closer a little bit. This was Zoe and her dad, which is this guy right here. I always forget his name, Logan. And there's Logan and, uh, whoo, Cheyenne, yeah, <laughs> Logan and Cheyenne, Zoe is a baby, there's Cheyenne and Zoe, and there's, ooh, there's Logan, and then, uh, Zoe is a baby, and there she's Pragers, and then we come over to this wall, some of these pictures you may remember from the oh. intro, Maybe one of these. <laughs> but yeah. Turn that light back on. What is so it? yeah. All Zoe up here. And we got. Ah. Damn. Cheyenne and Logan. And then there's Cheyenne and uh, Sweetie. And then we come over here. And we have. Here. Can I just turn this light on? Turn on. This light. Okay. Cool. So we come over here and we have Zoe. We have Zoe and Cisco. Zoe and Cisco. Zoe and Cisco. Zoe. Zoe. Zoe and Cisco. Zoe and Cisco. Here's your cutie. Hi, Cisco. So yeah, there's those. And I think we have another wall that's kind of half assed somewhere. <laughs> I don't remember where though. Got that one, that one, and that one. I think there's something upstairs. Maybe. Oh, there's one of the paintings. That one's a masterpiece. Why it won't... Whatever. Why it only wants to go there, I don't know. But I swear I had... Oh, there's another picture. Oh, yeah. That's just Cheyenne. Okay. Anything else? Do we have any other ones somewhere? I swear I thought we did. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that was all of them. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. That's where we are. And we have another... We should have another one of these things. Alright. I'm going to throw that on the wall, too. Because now... This one is Cheyenne. No, no, no. My bad. This one is Zoe's. And that one's going to be... The Seamus. Alright. So, how are we doing, Daddy? We doing good over here. What are you doing? What you doing? Um, you must be doing. Okay, he's doing homework. I guess. Hey, whatever works. And Sweetie's awake now, so I'm gonna go ahead and have her take Sweetie for a job. Get okay, one lecture about waking up, and then more choices, pet care. Go on a walk, go for a jog. Alright, yes. Go do your thing. You know what? Oh. Oh, yeah. I thought I could take both. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. What do we got? What can we purchase today? What can we purchase today? Let me see. Order delivery. Grocery delivery. What's in here? All right, nothing I want. All right, cool. I can have the mom here where she can walk both dogs, but I don't really know how. Let's see. More choices. Da, 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 da. Um, job to clear mine. Huh. Let's see if I do it this way. More choices. Pet care. See, if I click on that, it's going to, it's just a timed thing. If I click on this one, it's just for this dog. But I want to take both. If I click on her, is there something that tells me 
I can do it from here. Actions. Let's see if anything in actions. No. More choices. Jog to the runs. Good jogging. Um. Fuck, I don't know. Whatever. Okay, take that one for a jog and don't die. I'm pretty sure I have the mod in that keeps her from dying if she's in, like, sportswear in the freezing ass cold. So, don't die. We're just gonna watch. Make sure she doesn't freeze to death. That would be great. No freezing. Yeah. Get that fitness up, baby girl. Get it up. Is it Sunday yet? It is not Sunday yet. I'm hoping that... She can get the uh, letter tomorrow, letting her know that she's able to go to college. So she can get started on her presentation or term papers and homework or whatever it is she needs to get started on. Speaking of which, dude, are you really asleep? You are really asleep. Okay. And it is the Romance Festival. You know what would be great? You know what I'm thinking would be so fantastic for them right now? They just had a baby. They're grown. <clears throat> They're about to start their life together. They don't have a lot of money. What money they do have? Well, their parents have a lot of money, but or her parents do, but they don't. I think, I honestly think it would be a great idea for them to go to the Romance Festival. And maybe maybe go ahead and get hitched like why not but if they're gonna do it they need to hurry up because santa's gonna be here soon and we can't miss santa <laughs> all right so let's do that we're gonna go to the romance festival it is so snowy here like oh i don't want them to freeze where is she okay she's over there she isn't in her warm clothes so that's good he needs to get in his before he dies <laughs> you know Last thing I need right now. Okay. Get your warm. That is not that warm. Oh, you know what? I put him in this because he was living in Solani and it doesn't really get that cold in Solani. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. It'll be all right. Oh, this looks different. Hold up. Well, the outside is covered in snow, so there's a bar out there. That's pretty cool. And then in here... We got all kinds of lights. We have a DJ booth. All right. There's no karaoke, I don't see. Huh. No karaoke for you. Okay, that's cool, but that's not where... Or no, the karaoke's out here. Yeah, that's karaoke. Okay, but we're not doing that right now. Uh, we're coming over here. First things first. As you can see... He does, like, plants. We're not doing that. Don't worry. But he can still grab some dragon fruit. Can never pass up dragon fruit. I'm sorry. I don't care where we're at. We're always going to have some dragon fruit, okay? <laughs> so, even right now, her mom has dragon fruit. But when he's when he's done, they're going to come get some, ah, some drink. Some, what is this? Sakura tea? Something like that. This dress is so pretty. Is this custom content or is that in the game? This is so pretty. Like, I have a shit ton of custom content, so I wouldn't know, but that is so pretty. I like that dress. Okay. All right. That is beautiful. Okay. She has no shoes on, so I'm guessing she's wearing the boots that are broke. <laughs> you know? All right, girl, where are you at? Why are you painting? I mean, okay, like you're creative, I get it, but you're supposed to be getting Sakura tea. Come on, Sakura. Let's go. Get your romantic vibes on. Poor Sakura tea. Okay, go ahead. Who's calling you? Um, girl? Ask me out. Okay, so hey, Cisco, Faze, Jalia, Jalil has asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? Yeah, girl, go for it. Okay. Aww. They all romantic together. Look at them looking so cute. So sweet. What is that? Huh. 
It looked like one of those flowers, like space flowers, but I don't know. Anyway. So, he's going to give her a nice, passionate kiss now that they're flirty. More choices. Let's see. Y'all know I'll probably pass it up a few times. Passionate kiss. Come on, girl. Get up. <laughs> He's like, listen. I don't. They don't normally talk before they do a passionate kiss, do they? More choices. Come on now. They missed out on that passionate kiss. Come on. Let me see it. It's like, hello. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time we slide right on over here and get our I do's on. Cause look, they've been engaged for a long time, so it's time. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> They're so cute. I just love them. They're so cute. And it's funny because she was so teeny tiny. She had that baby and now she got that big juicy booty and I love it. <laughs> I'm living for it. Oh, she stinks though. Damn man. <laughs> that must suck. <laughs> Hey, look, he don't care. He's like, girl, you can stink all over me. I love you. <laughs> oh, well, that looks weird. <laughs> so cute. I am not taking pictures of her stinking, though. <laughs> We can do without it. <laughs> oh, happy wedding day. Don't make any more babies. She needs to get on birth control. Like, stop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, last exception. Oh, fine. I wonder what I get a last exception for this time. You can have married sims. We've been together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know that. All right. Well, let's see. What else do we want to do while we're here? There's not a whole lot to do while we're here. I guess they can get something to eat together. Let's see. Order food. They're going to get some puffer fish. In Ni yeah, so Ni what is it? Nigeria? Nigeria? Whatever it is. That way they know how to make it. <laughs> we're home again. It looks like we missed Santa Claus, I think. <laughs> Damn it. He's our favorite. That's okay. It's all right. Okay. Come jump in the shower, girl, because you really need a shower. Uh, matter of fact, while you're in there, why don't you just go ahead and sing in the shower so you can get your skills up. I like it when they can sing. I'm weird like that. It's just a thing. And you can come take a shower, too, because it looks like you need one as well. How are y'all doing? Y'all doing okay? Oh, you're hungry. Maybe you should get off the computer and come have some... <sighs> Oh, we forgot to put the Wellington away. Oh, it's so good. Okay. <laughs> grab a serving. After your shower, y'all can come grab a serving too because y'all are not marked off for that. So you can come grab a serving. And how about you? Did you eat yet? No, you haven't eaten yet either. So grab a serving. All right, cool. So we get them going. The baby seems okay for right now. Good morning. Everybody is awake. Um, well... I don't know what's going on with Logan. He keeps like it says he's go he's gone to work, but he's not. I guess because he's a workaholic. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not worried about him right now. All right, so <laughs> something to do with him. Anyway, Jeremy Heller would like to come over to hang out. Sure, why not? Now she does have a friend group. 
I think I need to age people up in her friend group. Or are these? No, they're all young adults. It's good. So these are her friends from like childhood. Like she grew up with all these people. There was another one that was right here, but they wanted to have nasty comments about um, her being pregnant as a teen. And so they got removed. We don't want that. So yeah, that was that. Uh, he just finished his presentation. I want to go ahead and get him. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I'm going to have him go ahead and put that into his inventory. I can't. Why not? Boim. All right. Let's see. That's what, uh, I'm a okay. Can I put it in here now? Yes. Okay, good. All right. You, dear, I need you to check on the status of your application. Could you please? Please, please, please check application status. Hopefully she's been accepted. I don't know if it will right now, but I'd really like for her to be accepted today. Um, oh, that would be great. The dogs have had baths because they were both disgusting. Um, what else did we do? I think that was pretty much it. And the rest of the daytime they were sleeping. Dad keeps running off to work. I'm kind of thinking he's having an affair or some shit because like he don't stay home at all. <laughs> oh no. Oh, All right, the application yeah, is still going I, through I, the system. Check back soon. Uh, damn it. Okay. I swear I thought I had done that already. All right. So you, sir, can... Do you have any homework? You have that. And you have that. And the rest is already done, so you're good. Now, it is New Year's. So we can go ahead and make a resolution let's see what is your resolution gonna be <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. give everybody a resolution make a resolution let's see complete an aspiration milestone raise a skill write a book lose weight um i think we'll go with raise a skill all right and you sir let's see what you're gonna do <laughs> More choices. Uh, What's up? Oh, yes. Um, did I miss it? I might have missed it. Oh, there we go. Make a resolution. Complete an aspiration milestone. Get promoted. Do you have a job? Hmm. Oh, well, maybe, maybe because of college. I don't know. Whatever. Grade skill, write a book. And you can't do any of those, so. Uh, we're gonna go complete aspiration goal for him. I'm sorry about yawning in your ear. That's rude. How about you? What's your resolution gonna be? Uh, let's see here. Okay, complete aspiration, get promoted. Again, do you have a job? Raise a skill, write a book, get fit. Alright, um, I guess raise a skill for you too. You, sir. What is this? Tradition complete? What tradition? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, can you come home? Thanks. Appreciate it. And he's tense. Panicky. Work withdrawals. Come on, dude. You've been gone all day. God, I don't understand. I don't like that. I don't like the work uh, workaholic thing, whatever the hell. I don't like that. All right, so let's see. Get promoted. <laughs> Obviously. Let's see, what is it? I just saw. Go to work on off hours. Dude. Your wife is seriously going to think you're having an affair. Okay, just so you know. Um, people don't work like that. It don't, it don't happen. I mean, maybe, I guess, but... It makes me think something's wrong if you are working like that and staying out of the house. Maybe it's just too many, too much going on in the house. I don't know. What's happening, my dear? Because you weren't always like this. You used to just like free spirit and shit. Now it's like work, 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 work. I can't sing. I'm so sorry. My bad. <laughs> All right. So who has not opened a present? Have you opened? Yes, you have. Have you opened? Yes, you have. Have you opened? Yes, you have. Okay. 
All right. Oh, wait. Does this mean that Santa's coming again? Open presents. No, you did not open a present. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Clinging fixes. Okay, so she likes handiness. Good job. Good deal. I'm glad you like handiness. Alright. So she's opening her present. He needs to open a present. I thought he already had, but he had not. She needs to open a present. She can go back to sleep afterwards. And he did open a present. Okay, cool. All right, all right, all right. And this so one cool. is dancing. Well, we can take care of that one too. Hang on. I gotta move all this shit on. Do we have a radio in this house? I don't even know if we have a radio in this house. Oh, you know what we do have? <laughs> you know this bathroom's huge, right? <laughs> Let's see, music, play, um, classical. No, 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 no. Um, cottage core. We like cottage core. Okay. And then everybody can dance. Dance. You come down here, you can dance too. Dance. Everybody's going to go to the bathroom to dance. Because <laughs> why not? Okay. Now we can get that one taken care of as well. I'm just chilling out in the bathroom, hanging out. It's the biggest room in the house with the most space. <laughs> oh my, he's like, man, I don't know about all this. Come on, you can jump in with it. He's like, nah, fuck that. I'm not dancing in there with y'all. I'm gonna go talk to this mirror in here. <laughs> okay, girl, turn that off. So let's check on the application again. It's probably still not ready, but we're gonna check it anyway. And university. Check application status. Please, please, please give us an answer. Yes! Yay! She got in! Okay, so we want to do psychology. So we will be going to Foxbury. And then he is doing biology, so he'll be going to Foxbury as well. Hell to the yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, girl. Go ahead. Enroll. Let's get it in there. University. Enroll in a university. Thank you. Y'all get to start at the same time. I'm so happy for you. Damn right. Okay. So we're going to Foxbury. We are getting a degree in psychology. And three classes of that. And then for elective, let's see. Um, history of dance. Yeah, let's learn the rumba. Uh, the, yeah, rumba. Yeah, rumba sim. Whatever the hell you call it. All right, let me just double check. She can get, yeah, it's a professor. Okay, cool. Education. At home, yes. So for her, she'll still owe 4205. Well, with with the uh, interest, it'll be forty four fifteen, which is fine. All right, good deal. Yes, ask the puppy dog to go to potty. This, I believe, is his. It needs to stay in his belongings, and she has hers now. She obviously has a presentation. There's her homework, and let us see if she has a term paper. <clears throat> okay, give a presentation, submit a term paper, take final exam, submit a term paper. So she got two term papers and a freaking presentation. Shit. Yes. And I want to try and get as much as that done for Sunday as possible. It makes it easier through the week. Just having to keep up with the uh, homework. That way she can still maintain baby and all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, I am going to, now that she is had our little lovely little casino and she's been accepted into school he's been accepted everybody's been accepted look at that trash <laughs> we'll get that in a minute but now that we have our little baby bundle over here and everybody is ready to do what do you want agatha sweet lady hello mate we love to we would love for you to come visit us again in hanford on bagley i'd love to visit but not right now so no thank you so yeah we're going to go ahead and leave it here. I want to thank you for watching. 
I hope you enjoy this series. I'm kind of excited about it. Again, I'm going to try and figure out where we're going to leave all these links to all these mods. If I don't get it in the description this week, I will by next week. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do about that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like, the subscribe, ring the bell so you can get notifications in the future. Leave me some love down in the comments. If you don't want to leave love, don't leave anything at all because what? No negativity here. Have a great day. Bye.